continue to thank you for calling support my name is harry how may i assist you today oh uh, hello harry uh i'm uh calling from the united states arizona yes sir go ahead uh i got this uh i got this thing on my screen it looks kind of uh, weird. So you are the, uh, I got that, sir. I got that. So let me ask you, sir. You are the only user to this computer, or someone else uses it except you? Tell me. Um, <coughs> I I only use my computer. I'm the only one. Uh huh. So no problem, sir. I will be helping you right with that. In the near future, whenever you need any help, you can call in this number. Okay. So what you were doing, sir, when you got this um, message on your computer screen, you had to tell me. What are you doing, sir? Oh, I was checking out some different political websites, and I was checking out this thing about... Uh, oh, huh. No uh, problem. Was, Can you tell me the make and the model of your computer, please? Can it you tell one me of the, the make and the model of your computer? It was one of them blogs. Sir, Hello? can you tell me the back? Uh, can you tell me the uh, name? Uh, can you tell me the name of your bank, sir? Sir, can you tell me the name of the computer there? The name of my computer? Yeah, you make and the model of your computer. It's an Apple computer or it's a Windows computer, sir. This uh -huh. is a, with it, I believe it's a Windows computer. It's okay. one of them Windows so, so computers. So what do you have to do? Oh, it's a laptop or a desktop, sir. You tell uh, me. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's one of them desktops. I I've had it. I've had it for quite a while now. No problem, sir. I will be helping you always, so that in the near future you will never have this problem again. Correct, sir. Okay, who so am I talking to? You sound so like a fine Microsoft. young gentleman. So who am talking I talking to? So you call Microsoft Windows Technical Help Desk under. I'm the technician on the floor, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? Alrighty there. Okay, sir. So, first tell me, you have to look in the keyboard in the very left-hand side bottom corner. Can you see the CTRL key? The control key there. Oh, yeah, I see those little keys. They have little words on them. Yeah, CTRL. No. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Control. The next to control key, which key you see, sir? I see this little picture. Okay, so there is a four squares drawn on that key, right? Yeah, it's a little picture. It looks like a four square. It looks like four squares. Yeah, drawn on it. So you have to press and hold down that key and hit the letter R. R is in Roger. And release both the keys, okay? So you have to press and hold down that Microsoft Windows key with one, one finger and... Hit the letter R. R is in wrong, sir. Okay. Okay, I did that. I got me that. I I pressed those two keys together. That Windows and the uh, R key. So you got a box which says run. Type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Okay. Can yes, you see that? Yes, I got that. Yes. If something is written in that box, or that box is empty, sir. It says open and there's something blinking right beside it. Okay, over there you type I is in Indiana. Uh-huh. E as in Echo. Uh-huh. X is in X-ray. Alrighty. P as in Peter. Sure, okay. L as in Lima. L as in Lima. Gotcha. O as in Oscar. Okay. R as in Roger. Okay. E as in Echo. Okay. So over there you have written down that is I E X P L O R E, correct? Yeah, I see it's spelling out I Explore. I Explore, right. Give a space. There you give a space there. And over there you type www. Dot. F is in Frank. Okay. A is in Apple. Okay. S is in Sam. Okay. D is in Tango. Okay. S is in Sam again. All right. U as an umbrella. Okay. P as in Paul, P as in Paul, two times P. Oh, two P's, is that like PP? Yeah. Yeah, PP. O R T dot com. Support dot com. Oh, so, okay. It says sir, what? I, I explore www. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. 
I explore www.fastsupport.com. Hit OK. When you hit OK, you will see a screen in front of you which says Establish Support Connection, your name and the support key. So you have to type in your name there, your first and your last name, so that I can provide you the support key, okay? Okay, my first, okay. I'm pretty good at this typing thing, you know. Okay, I got my first, I got my first and last name in the, in the name box. And the support key is, okay, when you hit run, whatever you see on the screen, you tell me. You have to click on yes, allow yes. You have to click on every positive option there, okay? Okay, sir. Uh-huh. Okay, it says connecting. Okay, according to the Microsoft records I've just checked right now, I'm talking to Billy right now. Correct, Billy? Click on yes or end. My name is Harry. Can you oh, see that? okay. Harry, Harry Wilson. Wilson. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Okay, Billy. Okay, Billy. Click on yes again. Hey, yeah, it said, that's Billy Gibbons. That's me. Okay, so right now you do not use your mouse and the keyboard. You are connected to the secure server right now, sir. Okay. So being a technician, let me just check. Go ahead and help you out with it. So, let, uh, so that in the near future, you will never have this problem, sir. The reason you are getting a problem there, I just click on open next in center to find what is the problem there. Can you see that? Your Windows Defender is out of date, Billy. Oh, just I power see, yeah. and unwanted software is not protected. Can you see that? I just click on security over there. Okay. It says your Windows trying to get update. They are asking for update, sir. Right? Okay. So this is the main reason, and the main reason is over here, sir. Can you see the network access protection is not running? Can you see that? So how you will protect your computer from the third-party access, correct? Okay. So, sir, they are not running into your computer. Security are not running into your computer. Let me just go ahead and diagnose it so that in the near future, you will never have this problem again, okay? I will be helping you out with everything there, okay? I there see. we go. I just click. Oh yeah, it says Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Corporation, all right, reserved. And who is David, sir? That's my son. Okay. Okay, Billy. So, can you see that a scan is going on into your computer? I'm scanning your computer, okay. It says, Clampy found high-risk network crash. Can you see that? I see that. So, do... Do you have any idea what this clampy means, sir? Do you have any idea? I have no what idea, clampy? sir. I okay, Billy, what I will do, I will just go ahead and help you out with this so that in the near future you will never have this problem again. As you are the only user to this computer, I just click on custom views, administrative events. You know, uh, administrative means you are the only user to this computer, right? So, sir, how old is this computer you are using? How old it is? Well, it's... Uh it, I believe I got it a, uh, a bunch of years ago. I got it a bunch of years ago. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe like eight years ago, something like that. Okay, no problem. But, sir, we need to go ahead and help you out with it because can you see that, Billy, in front of you, the bunch of warning and error messages with the date and time and the source? Yeah. Can you see the name of the, uh, yeah. So, do you have any idea from where you're getting this bunch of warning, warning and error messages, Billy? Any idea? Uh, maybe that clampy thing that you showed me? Yeah, yeah, they are all clampy. You are all absolutely correct. They are all clampy. That's they are all from clampy? Your computers from, sorry? That's all clampy? Yeah, they are all clampy. Someone is trying to get into your computer so that they can diagnose your personal stuff, what you are doing there. Can you see that? It says you are using a Microsoft Windows 7 computer. Okay, Billy. It's the virtual, 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 it's the virtual box, okay? Yes. I just click on software environment and the system drivers. Let me tell you, sir, over here, can you see the name of the drivers, the description, the file, it says Windows System 32, the kernel drivers and the state says stop, stop, running, running, stop, stop, can you see that? Yes, I see that, sir. I see it. So, the, 
the drivers are not running into computers, so this is the main reason, sir, okay? So that in the near future, you will never have this problem. We need to upgrade the drivers there, correct? And we need to provide you the every security which will be working at the computer and it will be good to go there, okay? Yes, Can you see sir. the name of the services? The, the manufacturer says Microsoft Corporation and the state says running, running, stop, stop, running, running. Can you see that, sir? The drivers are not running in the computer, so this is the main reason, okay? Really. Okay. So what I will do right now, I will open up a notepad right now so that I will... Uh-huh. I need to open up a notepad there. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Sir, so being a technician, can you tell me how old are you right now, sir? How old are you? How old am I? Uh-huh. I'm 54 years old. 64 years old, F right? 54. Okay, but your voice doesn't seem that. It seems that I'm talking to a person who's only 30 or 35. That means you have a very young voice, sir, Billy. Uh-huh. So what we have to do, we have to refresh your IP address, we have to hide your IP address, we have to block your IP address so that in the near future they do not get into your computer. So what you have to do, sir, you have to grab a pen and a paper handy, write down your case ID, please. This is your case ID. The customer ID I will be providing you. When I will be walking into your computer there, okay? has been you to register there. So sir, my name, my name is Harry, okay? You know that, Billy? It's 205, my extension ID. A toll fee number I'm providing you. You have to call in this number only when you need any help there, okay? one 855 okay, sir? Okay. So sir, we will be providing you a network security which you do not have to protect your computer and the computer security to protect your computer there, Billy. Okay, there will be, uh, we will be providing you anti-hacking tools so that no hackers can get into your computer, okay? Okay. Will be anti we will be providing you anti-virus, okay? There are hackers so in my computer? Someone was trying to do that, sir, but you are so lucky that your computer blocked itself because of the warning and error messages. Is there, there a way a you can check break. that? Sorry? Is there a way you can check that? I saw you were checking things before. Can you try to yes, do sir. that? Yes, sir. They were can trying you... to get into the computer, but that's what I'm telling you. I will be going ahead and register you so that the technician can walk into a case and make your computer good to go, Billy. You don't have to worry about anything and your computer will be all secure that it will be never crashing up, okay? So without wasting your time and I time, my time, I will be just trying to get you registered there. Go ahead and type in your name there. Go ahead. Okay. Can I show your you phone. Can I show you something first? Uh-huh. All right. Now, let me show you now, boy. Let me show you what's going on here. All right. You did this. And I can do this too. Watch this. All right, you you paying attention? You paying attention? Yeah. All right. Watch this. All right. You see what's going on here? Yes. You see this? You were just doing this. Okay, but this is a little bit longer than what you showed me, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay. Just wait a second here, buddy. All right. All right, you see there's a lot of things going on here? Are you still there? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, pay attention. Pay attention now. There's a lot of things going on. It says Microsoft Windows. You can see that, right? There's like Microsoft uh -huh. Windows. It's, it's flashing. There's a bunch of other numbers. There's a bunch of other things going on, too. But you can see Microsoft Windows, right? You can see that. Uh-huh. Okay. And what command did I just type in? Did you see the command that I typed at the beginning? No. Well, I told you to pay attention, boy. 
Sure you didn't see it? Because you can see it now. You can see it up here, right here. Read that for me. Come on, boy. Read that for me, right there. It says C. What else does it say? Are you there? Come on, pay attention. You don't see the rest of that? I'll read it out for you. He hung up. <laughs> you still there? I see the session has ended.